Today I got a new piece of gear to show you. It's an IP camera setup. A little tablet with some live action cameras on it. And it's related to these guys. I'm trying to keep these little doggies safe. So to explain that a little better, I'm going to take you on a trip to the outside. So recently our city, like a lot of other cities, has uh, come into a little bit of a coyote problem. Um, usually at night, but sometimes recently during the day as well. Not a big problem unless you have little doggies. So it gave me an excuse to play with some new tech gear. Those cameras. I'm going to go show you where they are up in the trail here. Yeah. Uh, a couple years ago, I did a video on a Arlo Netgear Wi-Fi camera. Uh, video is up there. Uh, that system worked pretty well. Still have it, uh, but it has a couple of disadvantages. It uh, number one, it runs off of batteries. Two, it's not very good with live video feeds. Three, it's a delayed feed. So IP cameras are inexpensive, uh, high quality feed, and easy to set up. No batteries to replace every two months, um, and no power cables if you get the power over ethernet version. That's where they send power uh, over your ethernet cable. Duh. <laughs> and so that's what I got. I got four real link cameras. There's a bunch of brands out there. Real link seem to have pretty good Ratings. So I got four different models of the real link camera, um, ranging from $60 to $120, and uh, a couple of $40 uh, power over Ethernet four port hubs, and a whole bunch of Ethernet cable, which is really cheap. You can get 100 feet of it for 20 bucks or less, and scattered it throughout these woods. This one camera right over here used to be white, but I painted it camo brown, so you can, uh, it blends in a little better. You can see the cable going down and over to there. And there's another one up there and over here. So these cameras come with wireless versions. In fact, I have a wireless one on the driveway. But I found that the, I like the wired ones better, especially if you have to get power to them anyway. You gotta, it's easier to run an Ethernet cable than it is some sort of power cord. Uh, more importantly, the wireless, uh, they don't give you as high quality video feed. Oops, here is the other camera. Uh, with these cameras, this is a, four, a 5 megapixel camera, you get a really high quality video feed of, the, in this case, the Crick. I'll show you that from the inside in a bit. Uh, and head up to our third camera up here. Uh, so with a four uh, or five megabit camera feed, you got to have those wired Ethernets in order to get that reliable stream going. Wireless, you can do probably a, I found about a megabit or less uh, before, even if you're in close, strong Wi-Fi. Uh, any more than that, it breaks up. So. Uh, kind of run out of breath heading up this hill. <laughs> so, uh, the second advantage I had with putting a uh, wired Ethernet up here is remember last uh, couple months ago I set up, uh, and it's right up there. You can barely see it. It's a wow. HD antenna, HDTV antenna. So, you get up, signal reception from up over that hill, and initially ran that with a wireless Wi Fi. But uh, it benefits too with a, a more reliable wife um, Ethernet. So down here in this waterproof camo box, we have a couple of things. We have the HD antenna tuners. We have uh, one from Tableau. It's one of you guys recommended that. And I have the uh, one I showed you last time, that HD Silver HD Home Run tuner. Both of those take the HD signal, uh, TV signals, and convert it to Ethernet feed it to this four port hub. Uh, this hub is one of the power over ethernet hubs. That's why it has a little power adapter here. Well, I guess all hubs do, but that has the advantage of now I can send to my uh, 
cameras on the power they need. So there's another camera up there in this tree. Uh, also painted camel brown. So those cameras then feed uh, that four port hub, which then feeds one down in the tree house, another four port hub, which then feeds 180 feet ethernet cable down camera to the router in the house. So the fourth camera we have is the wireless one. It's of the dome form factor as opposed to the bullet form factor we saw with the other cameras. Uh, those little antennas talk to a Google Wi-Fi which is sitting right there and even with that close a distance, probably 20 feet, I couldn't get reliable 5 megapixel uh, to work so that's running at a lower 1 megapixel rate. Uh, this is our fifth camera. He's an old ancient Foscam camera that's just watching the doggy cage. I have uh, two pieces of software that used to monitor these cameras. Real Link Android app. It's running on a $150 Fire TV tablet. So I can select a particular camera to go full screen, pinch to zoom. Right here's where that ammo box was that we we're looking at earlier. Um, then we can go back out and select a different camera. This one has audio, so I tap the audio button. You can hear that creek running. And then over here we have the same app running on an old Android tablet, the free one that came with our TV. And here we have the main app. That's a Synology surveillance station. A couple of months ago I did an office tour and I showed you how you run with the Synology network attached storage boxes. I had a little white two bay one down there. Now we've upgraded to this four bay one, which has a more space, but more importantly, a more powerful processor that can handle these five megapixel streams. So let me show you just a little bit. I won't do a full review of this Synology surveillance station, but we'll give you a, a little glimpse of it. So this is one of many software packages that Synology makes available for installation on their NAS boxes. Most of those software packages are free. This one supports up to two cameras free. Uh, then it's $50 per camera license above that. So I got a four license additional um, license package for $200 so I can have up to six cameras. Currently I only have five in this sixth location. I just have a little map that shows relative where all the cameras are. So you can easily change the layout of these um, if you have more or fewer cameras. This for example is a four camera layout system. So we can pick the camera, this is the one that has that audio again. You can see, if I zoom in on it, you can see the pretty good 5 megapixel stream clarity on this guy. In addition to the live view, we have a pre-recorded view, so we can see clips of motion. Um, it senses when there's motion and shows you pre-recorded video clips. Like um, here, for example, is the one recorded while I was making the clip of that topmost camera. Uh, so in addition to the clip view, we have something called the timeline view. So it'll show uh, all these green dots here represent when one of the cameras saw motion. There, for example, is a one car leaving and I scroll down a little bit further, I can see another car coming. And then if it's a different camera that shows up motion, uh, there I am hiking the hill on this camera view. So those uh, that's some of the options that this Synology NAS setup uh, surveillance station provides. Now, it has a lot of other features and they take way too long to review them all. And in fact, this video is getting a little bit long and I have the best stuff yet to show you. The real trick with this stuff is how do you efficiently and quickly review activity for the day or get notified when there's significant movement like a coyote on the trail. Your wife coming home from work. Uh, so let's pick that up in the next video because there's some really um, interesting tricks there that I, I've, I've been playing. Involves doing object detection using machine learning 
That's the Google TensorFlow software package. So, whet your appetite for that. Maybe I'll see you in the next video.